Hey everybody, I have this uh, trim to fit car mat here from FH Group. I got this on Amazon, it was really about 20 bucks, and I thought I might as well give it a review. I looked to see on the Mercedes side if they had something that they offered, and they did not. This is definitely not gonna trap anything that has a uh, major spill, because this is pretty low. And you can kind of see, you know, just how just how low this surface is. I picked this one that has this kind of honeycomb shape. I figured this would trap water better than something like uh, this kind of diamond plate grid here where water would just kind of escape and run all around. So uh, they also have one, I think, that has a little more linear pattern to it, which I didn't think was going to do what I was wanting to do, which was, like I said, I'm looking for something with some res recesses that'll trap anything that happens to have a little bit of water movement on it. It does have this edge here that uh, is a bit of a ridge. It's not as high uh, as it is, uh, looks like in the picture. I really thought this was going to be a much bigger lip, and you can see it really, it's really pretty, pretty low, but again, it would be enough to kind of trap a little bit of of water if need be so overall i think this will be a good shape the mercedes mat that it comes with on the gla amg gla 45 uh is of course this i guess you'd call it carpet type of type of mat now the mercedes considers this reversible where this rubber side you could flip it over and, and use this rubber side the only problem is if you do ha get this dirty uh, and you want to take it and hose it down, you've still got this carpet side to deal with where you couldn't really hose, hose this. You could wipe it or something, but you're not going to just throw it in the driveway, hit it with the hose like you can with something like this, which is just a giant piece of rubber. Now, it comes and comes in a big roll, almost like a, uh, I don't know, like a tube, square, square box. Uh, you unroll it, and the biggest complaint, which uh, was, I can confirm... Uh, does have a pretty strong like rubber smell to it, chemical rubber smell. It's not so bad now. If I put my face on it, I can smell it. I've been sort of putting my hand on here, and my hand doesn't really smell like it too bad. Uh, if you've ever bought anything uh, online that you've had shipped that has rubber on it, like I have some um, rubber-coated dumbbells, they had the same smell. You know, it's just a very uh, you know, manufactured rubber smell so uh let's get into a couple other things the design of this you can kind of see these sections here these are meant to serve as a guide when you're cutting right if you're if you're cutting different shapes for example you're trying to get around the wheel wells and things these are all kind of a guide that you can kind of cut in between to help you kind of guide your your trimming looks like if you had to you could even trim this out and make a space for the for the notch. Now, what I intend to do, I had it down in the cellar just because of the odor. I was letting it air out, which I recommend anybody who is getting this probably should plan on letting it air out, or else your car will definitely smell like kind of rubber for a few days. I think how you would go about cutting this, obviously, is just spread this like I have done, and then flop your existing mat on top of it. And this will help kind of guide your cuts. And, of course, the dimensions are all on on, uh, on Amazon. And you'll know you should measure the back of your car to make sure it's going to match and be a fit. But you can see here already some of the benefits of this. So I kind of just put it on here. I think it's pretty close to being centered to where it's going to need to be. But uh, you can see that it's got... It's got shapes that are going to kind of naturally follow where a car shape would be. Cut back in here. These, I think I'll have to. This one, I think I'm going to... I'm not. You can always cut more. You can't add any on. So I'm going to cut big, dry fit. Uh, I'm not going to cut way big. I'm just going to cut a little large. See, this is lined up nicely to this notch here. But I have just a little bit of, and you can see this is kind of the notch that I was talking about on WeatherTech. 
The WeatherTech one comes straight across just like this one does, and the Mercedes mat needs just this little this little indent here uh, so that it isn't in the way of the uh, closing of the hatch. So uh, I'll have to reproduce just this slight notch here, and then I'll cut all this, and then I'll see how I address this. If it's just about, you know, I don't know, half an inch oversize, then I will come back and kind of trim this. I mean, if you really wanted to, oh, I didn't talk about the underside of this. So most of this is smooth, but here on this main sort of body of the mat, it does have little spikes, which will help this stay in place so it doesn't move around. So I like that too. I was, I wanted to make sure it uh, just kind of stayed put once you get it in there. Uh, so you could just, I guess, if you wanted to put this down, trace it with a Sharpie or something and just cut it, which, uh, which is always an option. Okay. I'm going to get cutting on this a little bit and then we'll take a look. And I'm just going to come in here. And so what I did was I centered this. You can see there's just the tiniest bit extra here and likewise on the other side. I'm going to leave that alone for now and I'm going to come in. I'm just going to come in right here and I just want to show that it does cut pretty easily. I'm just using a regular pair of scissors and it cuts pretty easily. It's really, it's a really soft uh, quality piece of rubber here. There you go. Okay, both sides are done. And there's a little extra. And now I'm just going to mirror this curve here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my mat out of the way just very briefly. And I'm going to come in, try to continue this line. I'm going to back it up to about here. And just trim that like that. All right, and you can see that sort of lines up pretty well. And if it does have a little extra, I'm going to dry fit this right after I cut the other side, and I'll have to trim up the back too, and then we'll see how it fits. If it does need to be cleaned up just a little bit, then I will break out the Sharpie. Uh, flip it. I'll probably flip it over, Sharpie on the other side, and then cut. So, But we'll talk about that if I get to it. All right, here's where we're at. You can see the mat is uh, cut pretty well. I could probably clean that corner up a little bit, this little piece there. I didn't bother with this notch yet. I'll get to that after. And then, you know, we have a little bit of, we have a little bit of extra on either side. The nice thing that I really appreciate about these grid lines and cut lines is it helps keep, helps keep the piece kind of square when you're cutting so that you have a nice... Uh, consistent shape. So I'm gonna, just going to spin this around, take a look at the back of this, trim that up, and then go dry fit. Back here, I've got something a little interesting. So my mat is notched, and I'll have to go take a look at why that is. Okay, so I mean, that's already not a bad fit. As you can see, uh, it's looking pretty good here. I mean, Hard to, hard to even tell. Now, if you do have the cargo net installed, the cargo net on the AMG uh, GLA-45 and probably all the uh, GLA-250s, cargo net, net actually wraps around this piece with a couple of straps, and then there's a couple of straps that go under that piece, and then the net goes over here. So. If you are going to use your cargo net, you'll want to keep that in mind, that you'll have some space for the cargo net to come wrap around. Uh, but that aside, it's really, it fits and looks pretty decent back here already. There is a notch here, and that notch, again, is so that this kind of, I don't know, trunk lid can open. There's no spare tire because these are run flats, but um, I guess your spare tire would be under here if you had one. And that's where those notches are. Okay, I'm going to contemplate my options. If I'm going to do another trim, I'll uh, 
kind of show you what I decided. All right, so I just came in with a Sharpie and you could probably barely see that, but there is a line there uh, and drew this in. But I did trace this notch shape while I was back here. Uh, and then I'll figure out just what of this I want to cut. It's nice that you can still see the pattern of the cuts, even from the backside. This is the, this is the backside of the, uh, of the mat. So it's nice that you can still see the lines from the back. That way you can still kind of follow. Give this a cut with the, uh, carpet knife and then we'll go from there. I mean, with a carpet knife, you can cut right through this nice and clean. So, um, definitely don't be afraid to do the old trace with a Sharpie and give it a cut. Especially if you've got a nice kind of straight edge that you can use, you can just cut this like right on. All right, here's a fit check. So I did try to maintain this notch back here and that worked out pretty well. And then you can see here's where I cut my back edge. Then I maintain that notch. Now I do have a little excess. You can see climbing up the side here. Let's see how this side looks. Now this side is perfectly even, so I'm gonna have to recenter this. I'll have to recenter this. Let me just kind of shift it over a little bit. Let's just kind of shift it over just a touch. What I think I'm gonna do, and this is the nice thing about these guidelines here. So you can see I cut on the outside of this line. I think if I come back and cut on the inside of this line, it'll take just enough off of this to get me here. Although you can see, it's meant to kind of come in around these wheel wells. So it does have notches. If you do have, you know, much deeper wheel wells, uh, you can cut around those. But yeah, all in all, we pull this just forward a touch. Make sure it's lined up here. Yeah, definitely I'm gonna have to notch this out back here, but uh, yeah, pleased overall with, this has got just the right amount, you can't even really see it. It's got just ever so slight of a gap. It's lined up nice, so I'm glad I cut that. It's not gonna interfere with the seats folding and then you put them back up and then this is gonna bunch here in the hinge and then you're gonna be irritated. None of that's gonna happen, which is good. I didn't maintain this hinge. You're probably saying, why are you bothering putting this much effort into trimming this thing, man? Just come in here, hit it with a carpet knife, and uh, and, and go from there. But, uh, you know, I have this theory. If I'm not going to go do a good job, I should just let somebody else do it. So I think it's good to show that even though I cut the midway point in between one of these uh, cutting areas, if, as long as you have a nice straight edge... Uh, and a carpet knife, you can really trim this and it'll look nice and neat and uh, you won't have any problems. And it doesn't doesn't look strange. Matter of fact, looks looks quite natural. So you don't have to end on the outside edge of this. You can kind of really just cut this wherever you need to and I think it's gonna work out just fine. So one last quick trim, but this is why I come back here and double check. I was just gonna come sh cut straight across, but I think I'm gonna take advantage of this little uh, notch that swings in here. And I'm gonna end my trim to coincide with this curvature just a little bit. That's weird, how come that one, that one lines up there? Oh, the wheel wells are different. <laughs> the wheel wells are different shapes. What do you know? This is a very short, space between the back of the car and the wheel well and this much bigger space between the back of the car and the wheel well yes i said i have a gla 45 this is just the first aid kit from my other car okay so here we are i threw the uh i threw the mat in i just thought it was looked a little cleaner to kind of just round these corners so i rounded rounded the corners here uh, through the original mat, uh, this kind of factory mat back in, because why not? I'm just not going to leave it in the garage. You can see I trimmed, I trimmed these. And the thing is really nice with you. This is such a nice soft rubber material, uh, especially 
I mean, the smell now, it's only been about 24 hours. And like I said, I just left it in the basement and uh, I unrolled it and just laid it out and let it sit there and it's been okay. I don't think it's going to have an adverse um, effect on the smell of the car or anything at this point. But uh, the material is so nice, it cuts so easily with a carpet knife. If you've got a carpet knife, sharp carpet knife and a steady hand, that's my suggestion for you is uh, to cut it that way. Oh, that lump is just the rug. Okay, I was dry fitting this without the other mat underneath it, so it's fitting a little differently. I guess this has kind of a thick ridge on it, but uh, for the for the dreaded notch, I just did the same thing, Sharpie, and then came in here and just kind of cut on the back side of it. And I don't think that's, uh, the logo didn't get too mangled, so. Now, the real test will be to see if this will close on its own. Piece of cake. All right, I hope you found that video helpful. That is the FH Group mat on Amazon. It's about 20 bucks. It's a universal fit, trim it yourself, cargo mat. And it did trim up pretty nicely. End result, I recommend a carpet knife. Uh, that really will help you if you have something either straight or to be honest, even if you were, even if you're freehanding a curve, um, uh, you know, following, let's say, the a line that you made with a Sharpie, that you can really kind of customize this. It cuts so easily with a carpet knife. Uh, that would be my recommendation. When I was using the scissors, my kind of scissor skills are lousy, and I tend to kind of chop, 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 and it uh, made kind of a bit of a mangled edge. You can kind of see it's not the cleanest. It's not the clean, cleanest cut there. If I were, If I were following a line... I think I would have been able to do a better job. So that's my recommendation on cutting this. And then, like I said, the uh, mat itself is hopefully exactly what you would expect from a reasonably heavy-duty piece of, of rubber mat. Like I said, it's kind of, you know, it's not the thickest uh, thing, but that also helps it cut. But you can see I was just kind of grabbing it pretty hard, and it didn't sort of wrinkle or rip or anything. I, I, don't, I don't think I could just kind of rip it with my bare hands, but... Um, I think the most important tips would be let it air out for a day or two before you put it in your car or else you're going to have, have a kind of a chemical smell in the car. And then, yeah, just trim it and you have a lot of options. I was nervous that you'd only be able to kind of cut it in straight lines, but especially with carpet knife, you can really – you could make any kind of shape you needed to to get around, let's say, uh, you know, straps or hooks or notches or, or any weird shapes that happen to be in the back of your car. I wouldn't hesitate to uh, use this. The nice thing is the way the way they have this laid out, let's say you had something sort of in here, but you wanted to have the mat around it, you could even kind of, you know, cut in to wherever you need to be, cut your shape, and then you'd still have enough, you know, mat material around there. Uh, but you could still kind of cut a hole here without having too much of a problem. Let's say there was a, you know, if you're in the back of like a Jeep or something, you might have a, you know, pole or you know, seat belt bracket or something else that you're trying to get around but still have some mat behind it uh you can always kind of follow one of these lines in and make it look nice and clean and then i think it'd be fine i, I recommend of course you know sharpening on the back side uh and cutting and then then you'll have it looking nice thanks everybody hope that was helpful